Hello everyone, I am Dr. Purudhavan and today I am going to brief you about why in kidney failure patient despite taking medicine, the level of creatinine and urea keep increasing. So let's start our video and by end of the video, if you have any doubt, you can leave a comment and I will get back to you. Okay, so why despite taking medicines, creatinine and urea keeps increasing in kidney failure patient? As this is a very critical condition and if the progression of this disease is not controlled, you may have to go for a dialysis or a transplant as the increasing level of the creatinine and urea is highly dangerous. So today I will tell you why and for what reason it happens. The very first thing you have to understand is that in all kidney failure patients, 80% of the reason is either BP or sugar. It create a bad impact on our whole body and kidney as well. As you know, kidney cleans the blood of toxin and transform the waste into urine. So when the urine goes to be filtered inside the kidney, then it has to be divided into a very small capillaries. The nephron in the kidney that clean the blood are very small and the blood supply they are getting is also very fine. It is one third thinner than our hair. Now you can imagine that the blood supply of a nephron is so fine and because of this it become a very delicate. So if you have blood pressure or sugar levels high then the blood supply starts getting damaged. Because of this our kidney stops working properly. Suppose you are taking allopathic medicines and then also your BP remains high then increased blood pressure will cause continuous damage to your kidney day by day which is not good for your health and as the damage continues the level of creatinine will increase the case of diabetes is also similar to this suppose you are a diabetic patient and you are taking insulin taking medicine but still your sugar levels goes to above 200 so despite taking medicine we do not see any type of improvement in your kidneys so in both cases when the root cause of the disease is not controlled the damage continues and as the damage continues, the level of creatinine and urea kept increasing. Let's talk about the allopathic medicine that a kidney failure patient is prescribed with. Now I want every viewer to take out their prescriptions of allopathic medicine and watch carefully what medicine you are getting. You will find the medicine for blood pressure, you will find the medicine for sugar, cholesterol, vitamin D, calcium, phosphorus binder, potassium binders. But you will not find any medicine that can control the kidney damage or can prevent kidney disease. Because of this, creatinine level and urea level also increases. So these are the two main reasons that causes damage to the kidney and the level of creatinine and urea kept increasing even after taking all kind of medication. As a patient, if you take blood pressure medicine every day but still your BP remains high, then you will first priority should be to bring your blood pressure under control. Whenever I ask the patient what is your blood pressure at home, they always tell me that their blood pressure is normal. And when I ask what is normal blood pressure, most of the patient tells me that their blood pressure comes around 130 by 90. And they consider this blood pressure as normal. But if you are a kidney failure patient, this blood pressure will cause damage to the kidney because 120 by 80 is a average blood pressure for a healthy individual. Because once the kidney get damaged, your blood pressure should be a slightly lower than the normal blood pressure, which is 120 by 80. So you should keep your blood pressure a little bit down. That is, keep the diastolic below, which is 80. It should be around 70 to 75. Let's talk about the benefit of this. Now, if we maintain a little bit lower blood pressure for a longer period of time then one thing is sure your kidney will not be affected by blood pressure now i will brief you more about the sugar so you have to try to keep your sugar level below 180 whether it's your fasting whether it's your you know uh, pp or random if the sugar is still going to 200 250 300 after taking medicine and the little bit of sugar increase after taking your meal this can damage your kidney. So what's your responsibility is you have to control your blood pressure and sugar a little bit lower than the normal values. It should be below 180. For this whether you have to increase your insulin unit by one or two units or whether you have to increase your medicine it doesn't matter. 
if you have to save your kidney then you have to work on the root cause of the disease so at any cause the first thing you have to do is to bring your blood pressure and sugar level under control if you are not able to control it at shias we have a whole team of doctors you can get in touch with them and they will able to help you to control your blood pressure and sugar level and also they will help you to bring down the level of creatinine and urea by increasing the functioning of the kidney so we have completed one topic for today's video still if you have any doubt feel free to leave a comment in the section below and i will take them up personally See you all in the next video. Till then, take care and stay healthy.